Okay, taking a few moments in your laying down position, we're just gonna transition. So more than likely you've been doing things all day long. Okay, or at least since you woke up. So just let your mind and body transition into practice mode. We wanna cultivate big inhales, filling your lungs, filling your belly space even on big exhales. We want to think of compressing the belly muscles inward. And we'll take maybe three or four, like a handful of big breaths like that. Big inhales through the nose. And big exhales through the nose. Okay, keep it going as you take this time with that deep breathing, feel your body relaxing. And how about one more big breath in here? Maybe hold it at the very top of the breath. And then let's exhale completely. Think of cleaning out your lungs. And let's hold it at the very bottom of the breath. Hold the breath out. And you can let your breath return to a more normal pace, but still allow it to stay long and slow. And we'll start to get a bit warm with a nice little core warm up. So go ahead and bend your knees here. Get them right over your hips, okay? And we want the low back very close to the floor here. Think of your belly button anchoring downward. And you wanna think of this as keeping your low back very neutral and safe. Okay, bring one hand to each thigh. And I want you to cultivate a little push. So right away, as you push your hands against your thighs and you push your thighs against your hands, you'll feel your abs and your core light up. And that is indeed what we are looking for. So keep that feeling. If all is going well, tuck your chin into your chest a bit so the back of your neck is quite long and peel your head and shoulder blades up off the floor, adding a little bit more load, a little bit more spice to this core wake up. I want you to keep the push between your hands and your legs, okay? We're going to start to move. Keep breathing. Okay, we're going to inhale and extend the right leg forward. Think of pointing the toe past the front of your space. Exhale, bring the right leg back and renew that push between hand and thigh. On the other side, inhale, left leg. Exhale, bring it back. Again, inhale, right. Exhale, back, renew the push. Inhale, left. Exhale, back in, push. Keep it going, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Last one on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Tuck your hands behind your knees. Rock it up to a seat. You can tuck your feet down at first, but then I want you to lean back just enough that your abs and your core are still active and see if you could lift your feet up off the floor for a nice boat pose. So welcome to Navasana. Okay. We want your longest spine here, even though it's a bit of a challenge and you can always tap your feet down if you need less challenge. We're going to twist. So take your fingers together in front of you like you're plotting something. Okay, make your neck nice and long. And we're going to turn to the right. Think of looking over that right shoulder. You may even open your arms. Keep breathing. And with your exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale to the left. Look over that left shoulder. Maybe the arms open. Exhale, back to center. Keep the long spine. Inhale, right again, look back. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. 
One more time on the right. Now hold, push your knees together, open those arms so wide and breathe. Looking over that right shoulder for less challenge, drop your feet. For more challenge, extend your knees. One more big breath here, friends. Exhale through center. Inhale to the left, hold and breathe. Remember the modifications you can use. Feet down, feet up, long spine. Let yourself shake a little bit. One more big breath in. And with your exhale, bring it back to center. Drop those feet. You can cross your ankles here and maybe roll over to hands and knees from there. Okay, I'll meet you in a tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Okay, tuck your toes here. We're gonna get a bit spicy. Float those knees just off the mat, okay? It is challenging to hold them right there, but I know you can do it. And I know that you'll modify if you need to, taking breaks when you need them and trusting your instincts. So from your challenging little floating knee position, I want you to take a big breath in and arch your spine. Think of looking up, maybe forward, okay? Kind of drawing that belly downward toward the earth. A cow shape, we can call this a floating cow. Okay, with your exhale, press your hips up to the sky. Find a nice downward facing dog shape, your tailbone pointing up, your heels dropping down, and your heart drawing back to the back of your space. Let's do that again. Inhale to your floating cow, okay? Think of an arched spine and floating knees. Exhale to your downward facing dog. One more like that, yogis. Inhale, floating cow, building that heat. Exhale, downward facing dog, walk it out. Okay, I wanna give you a few breaths in your down dog just to warm things up and walk them out. Walk your heels out, roll your shoulders and waggle all of your joints around. Okay, remember in down dog, you have many options. You can keep your knees really bent here if you need a gentleness in the backs of your legs, okay? Or you can extend them as much as you like. We're gonna get right into a little bitty flow. So we'll build it one step at a time and then we'll run through it more quickly. With your inhale, let's go ahead and swing the right leg up in the sky, okay? We wanna keep the hips level as we can so that the right toes are always pointing down at the ground. With your exhale, pull that right knee towards your right elbow. We're gonna to try to hover it in the air there and your shoulders are over your wrists. It's a bit of a challenge, but we're only here for a breath. Inhale here, send the right leg back in the sky. Okay, this time with your exhale, send that right knee forward and hover it again, but you're gonna step the right foot outside the right hand. Okay, drop the back knee here. Inhale and reach all your hands up to the sky. We're gonna lift the heart here. Make sure both of your legs are actively pushing the floor and the front knee is about over your ankle. Okay, with your exhale, all the hands down, pop up the back knee and step the back foot forward. That would be the left foot stepping forward outside your left hand. You're gonna drop your hips here and take a moment in a big wide squat, okay? Hips down low, heart up high, just like that. With your inhale, keep your head up. We're gonna push the floor down, reach all the hands up. Stretching your heart up and open. Exhale here all the way down to your squat. Hips down, head up. Nice, with your inhale, see if you could maybe hop your feet halfway back and step the rest of the way back to a plank. Remember, plank and have your knees down or up. Exhale all the way down here. Pull back with your hands as you inhale. Think of lifting your heart up and open, a little cobra shape. Okay, with your exhale, tuck your toes. I'll meet you back in a downward facing dog. So that's our flow on one side, okay? We went through it nice and slow. We'll do it the same on the other side, mirror image. Here goes. 
from your downward facing dog with your inhale, let's swing the right leg in, or sorry, that's the left leg, left leg in the sky. The hips are level, the toes point down, three leg dog. With your exhale, left knee forward, please hover it by your left elbow, just like you're in a plank shape with only one leg. Inhale, send the leg in the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, this time step the left foot outside the left hand. Okay, drop that back knee, set up a low lunge, make sure the front knee is over the ankle, everything is comfortable. And then inhale, all the hands up in the sky. Think of lifting your heart while keeping your belly muscles strong so your low back is safe, okay? Exhale and drop your hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and step the back foot forward to a deep, wide squat. We think hips down, heart up. Okay, getting into those hips. Inhaling, stand all the way up. Lift your heart. Exhale, squat all the way down. With your inhale, we're going to do a little hop halfway back and then step to a plank. Exhale, down to the floor. Maybe use your knees while you do that. Maybe not. A cobra on your inhale, pull the elbows in, peel your heart up as you inhale. Then exhale, I'll meet you in a downward facing dog. Come on up and back. Okay, walk it out here, shake it off. We're gonna run through that same flow two more times. I'm gonna give you options to spice it up if you want, okay? We'll try to move breath by breath. Inhaling here, right leg up in the sky. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, maybe squinch it up to the armpit. Inhale, right leg in the sky. Maybe bend that knee and point the toes at your head. Exhale, step the right foot forward to a lunge. Go ahead and step it outside your right hand. Maybe the back knee comes down. Maybe the back knee stays up. And inhale, all the hands up in the sky. Strong belly muscles as you lift your heart in your crescent lunge. Exhale, all the hands down under your shoulders, inside that right foot, step the back foot forward, deep squat. Inhale, stand it all the way up. Maybe we have a little lift of the heart here, a little back bend. Exhale, squat it all the way down. Inhale, back to your plank. You can hop it or step it just as you like. Exhale, all the way down. With your inhale, pull your heart up to a cobra. Maybe press the tops of your feet down and lift your thighs for an upward facing dog. Who knows? With your exhale, I'll meet you in a downward facing dog. Okay, same thing on the other side. Let's do a mirror image. Inhale here, left leg in the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Maybe slide it up to your armpit. Inhale, left leg up in the sky. Maybe point that left toe at the back of your head. And exhale, step to a lunge outside your left hand. Back knee up or down, yogi's choice. Inhaling all the hands up in the sky, crescent lunge, big heart. Exhale, all the hands down, step forward to a squat. Inhale, press up with your powerful legs, lift your heart. Exhale, bring it down to your squat. Inhale to your plank, hop or step. Okay, exhale all the way down to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra or big up dog, who knows? Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, take a breath or two yogis. We're gonna do it one more time on uh, all the way through on each side. Maybe a bit more familiar, maybe a bit warmer, maybe you spice it up, maybe you make it more gentle. Inhaling right leg in the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, knee to elbow, hold, maybe squeeze it up to the armpit. Inhale, three leg dog, right toe points at your head. Exhale, right foot steps to the lunge. Back knee up or down. Inhale, all the hands up, crescent lunge. Big heart. Exhale, all the hands down, step forward to a squat. 
Inhale all the way up to standing, heart up. Exhale all the way down to your squat. Very nice. Inhale back to your plank, hop or step, however you like. And exhale all the way down to the floor. Inhale for your back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more side. <laughs> then we'll call ourselves really warm. Inhale here, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, maybe all the way up to the armpit. Inhale up, point that toe at your head. Exhale, forward to the lunge. Back knee up or down. Inhale, crescent lunge, all the hands reach up. Exhale, all the hands down, squat. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down to your squat. Inhale, back to your plank, hop or step. And exhale, all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog, big chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, come on up. Hold and breathe here. I'd like to take five or six long, slow breaths here. Just enjoying all this heat that you've cultivated in your flow, okay? Notice the backs of the legs and the shoulders. We should be feeling free and fluid there. I want you to push the floor with your hands and your feet and move your heart toward the back of your space. Think of the elbows being soft and pulling in toward each other as if you were trying to hold a yoga block between your elbows. And let's add a little twist here, friends. I want you to get really stable in your left hand and spread those left fingers quite wide. We're gonna take the right hand and reach it towards your left ankle. Try to grab the outside of the ankle, maybe the outside of the uh, calf would be fine too, but grab that left ankle or calf and start to gently pull your uh, self closer to your legs, pull your body closer to your legs. So you're going to think of maybe looking under that left armpit at the ceiling, who knows? Hold and breathe. Make that left shoulder strong and think about pointing your tailbone straight up at the sky. Breathe in your twisted down dog. Let the heat build. One more breath here, friends. Let it go with skill. We're going straight to the other side. So ground that right hand, spread the fingers wide and start to creep the left hand toward the right ankle. Grab the outside of the ankle. Maybe the calf is better, okay? Something that works for you and start to push the floor away with all your hands or all your one hand on the floor and all your feet. Point that tailbone up, maybe looking at the shoulder under that right armpit. Maybe close your eyes here, just kind of play with balance. One more breath here in your twisted down dog. As you're ready, let it go. Both hands on the floor. We're gonna walk your feet all the way to your hands and fold. Take a moment here, join your hands behind you perhaps. Should feel great after that long hold and that twisted down dog. You can pull your hands out away from you and kind of stretch out your shoulders, maybe swaying here. Okay, I like to really appreciate the traction in the spine here, letting that spine hang. Okay, as you're ready, we're gonna start bringing the energy level a bit closer to the floor, uh, kind of recovering and stretching and cooling down from our flowing. So let's bring those hands to the floor here. You can do fingertips or palms and just have a seat, bending those knees, shake the legs out in front. Okay, 
just taking a little bit more core activation here to start cooling us down. Make sure you scoot yourself to the front of your spot, okay? If you're like me, you tend to slither off your mat somehow. And we're gonna round the spine intentionally. So think of pointing your tailbone at your toes, long shoulders away from the ears. And you can reach forward here using the weight of your hands to your advantage. And we're gonna think of rolling back really slowly. Think of your spine rolling down like a snake spine. Inhale as you reach your hands behind you, stretching out to your full length. And as you exhale, you're gonna roll yourself up the way you came down, using those core muscles to pull yourself up, reaching as far forward as you like, okay? Keep your long spine and keep your legs gently pushing down against the floor. So I want you to think of using your legs to resist the floor. With your inhale, roll it back, finding some Fluid movement here, friends. With your exhale, roll it up. You might even do this with your eyes closed. Just enjoy moving without visual input. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale, roll it up. Let's do that three more times, okay? Inhale back. Exhale up. Reach as far as you like, okay? Stretching open your back body. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, okay? Inhale. And exhale. Now, let's hold it here in your forward fold. Just to make it very nice, let's put a bend in the knees, at least a little bend, okay? At least a bit, a little bend. Possibly today you choose a big bend. It's really up to you, okay? The more bend in the knees, the less stretching in the legs we have, okay? The more that stretches in your back. But wherever you are, I want that long spine here. Your heart is moving forward. Breathe. Feel your body start to cool down here. That heart rate dropping, body temperature dropping. Okay, friends, rolling up out of your forward fold slowly. Come up to a comfortable seat. And you can just find any cross-leg seat that suits you nicely, okay? And I'm going to turn to face you, but we are in the same posture, okay? Same position. Cross-leg seat. Go ahead and put your hands on your knees and just take a moment. Close your eyes. Feel your spine is long. I want you to really pull the belly button back and in and point that tailbone at the floor, just making the most of this posture that we've cultivated. Put a bit of a tuck in your chin and draw the back of the neck to be very long. With your longest spine, now let's twist and recalibrate that spine, okay? Look over your left shoulder here. Take your left hand way out behind you. And maybe the right hand comes to the left knee. Breathe in your twist. One more breath, please. Just like this, big inhale, big twisty inhale. Big exhale. Think of using your belly muscles a lot to exhale. Okay, through center, maybe stretch your arms up overhead at center. Big stretch, maybe even flip your palms up. Okay, with your exhale, we're gonna twist over to the right, right hand behind you, left hand to right knee, twisting the other way, hold and breathe. I like to think long spine, inhale, and strong belly, exhale. One more breath in your twist, please.
Bring it back to center here. Thanks so much for stretching and flowing with me today, yogis. Hope you have a great one.